with Sylvia Ryerson. How are you today? Good. How are you? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Um, why don't we get started by just sharing a little bit about yourself and about what you did. Okay. So, um, again, my name is Sylvia. Um, I'm originally from Brazil. Oh. And, yeah, I've been uh, here in the Chicago area for about three and a half years. And uh, what I do, um, I work with a company called TrueMaker, uh, TrueMaker.com. And what we do is we make built-to-fit style for men. So we have built-to-fit shirts and blazers, and we also have other um, clothing items for men. So our ideal is to make all men feel and very confident in their clothing and feel comfortable wearing something that will make them look and feel confident. And so that's really what we do. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty neat. So you actually go to their offices or their homes and I mean, how does that work? Yeah. So I'll make an appointment. Um, I can come to your office, to your home. We have an office downtown that we can meet as well, or I could meet you at a Starbucks. Uh, we, have, we have had outfitters meeting at Ikea. Oh, really? So really anywhere that you feel comfortable um, because, you know, it's a very casual and comfortable experience. We'll just come in. I'll show you what I have. I have the fabric swatches. You go through them, and I'll present, um, you know, our uh, package options and our buying options, and... You know, uh, at the end, if you choose to buy a shirt or a blazer, you get something made specifically for your measurements. So you know that it's going to fit you well and make you feel good in the end. Okay, so, you know, if I'm sitting at Starbucks, I don't want to see me undressing in front of everybody. Oh, you don't have to undress. No. <laughs> so how does that work? <laughs> no, I have a measuring tape. You can be wearing your clothes. No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. I've been asked a couple of times if they had to get naked. No, that's not the no, point. That's, that's you know, funny. that's why. <laughs> that's very yeah. relieving for everyone else, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's not nothing that will make you blush or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what made you get started in a company like this? Well, um, I've worked with uh, retail and fashion before, mainly for women. Um, and I had to take a break because I have two young children and it was demanding. It's hard to have a job that you have to go to an office and be there at a certain period of time because, as you know, you have kids too. They get sick and they have to leave and you have to work weekends every weekend. And so it's really demanding in that sense. And I was looking for something that I could do from home. Mm -hmm. that I could do at my own schedule, at my own pace, and that I would enjoy doing. And I came across that, and immediately I thought about my husband because he, um, he's a shorter guy, and he often has issues with his shirts that, you know, he always has to get them tailored and always has to, you know, have something changed. Either you have too big in certain areas and then too small in others. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is an awesome concept. You know, it's an awesome idea. I can totally see myself doing it. And, and so I, I went and, you know, talked to them and started working with them. So that's pretty much what, what you know, it's a combination of all that I was looking for. Sure. No, that sounds great. Um, so, you know, what gets you most excited about what you do? Just seeing people love what they wear, what they're wearing. You know, um, one of my clients is a teacher at the school where my son goes to. And the other day I ran into him. He was wearing um, one of the shirts that he bought with me. And he said, you know what? I was actually wearing something else this morning. And I just had to take it off and put my True Maker shirt because it just fits me so well. And so that's what, you know makes it so special is that it's something that makes him feel comfortable and confident and you know all my clients they just love how the shirt feels sure. you know you know you don't have any shirt fat that we call you know on the sides or you know it just fits perfectly which makes them feel good about wearing something and i think that's that's the most important thing 
Excellent. So, so outside of your, um, your company, like, what do you, what if, if we were to see you out on the streets, like what, what do we, what would we see you doing? Like, what do you like to do most outside of, out of work? Uh, I mainly doing stuff with the kids. I'm very involved in the school. Um, I am on the PTO board. Uh, so I'm always doing some kind of volunteer work. I volunteer at the school for lunch. I volunteer at YSO. I'm a coach. And so I'm always doing something related to the kids, you know, because that's what really moves me and, you know, wants me to be a better person and a better parent and just a better, I don't know, person in the community. Um, where I grew up, there was really a lot of incentives for, you know, children and teenagers to be volunteering for things. And so since I've been here, it's been, and in the school, I just found this uh, new passion of helping people and just being there for the kids and for the community. Sure. Yeah, I mean, and what I like, I just, I just like to ask that question because, you know, there's yeah. really no point to owning a company unless you've got a passion that you're going after and it's usually outside of what you do, right? Right. So, you know, and most of us, you know, have children, have families, and we probably would like to spend more time with them. And, and that's probably the things that you're going to do, right? You're yeah, like, absolutely. Like when I volunteer for lunch, for example, you know, my son is there. He loves when I'm there and he, sure. you know, feels so good that his mom is there, but the other kid's mom is not there. So he gets to spend a little more time with me. So, you know, that's what's exciting and seeing, you know, the look in their faces when we're doing something fun for them. Sure. It's just, it's just really fun. Sure. And so what you do, gives you the flexibility to do that, I'm sure, right? Absolutely, yes, right. yes. Excellent. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're passionate about that as well. I mean, it, to me, if you can spend more time with your kids, you know, the better opportunities and the better likelihood, uh, they'll end up, you know, standing on their two feet nice and tall and, and proud and confident, you know, for the future. So that's great, that's excellent. Right, yeah. Um, so, you know, how do you stay sharp? Like, how do you stay on top of your game? You know, I guess just researching and like, you know, looking at the other examples and the people in the same industry and other people around you that do similar things just to, you know, see what they're doing and learn with them and learn from them and just, you know, read and watch videos and just like keep your information your level of information high because then you can kind of go always have that fresh in your mind you know always i guess that that's what i'll, I'll do most you know mm -hmm. just read and watch videos and make sure that i'm doing you know i'm following the steps that i need to be following so so yeah, i'm sure this isn't the case for you but sometimes you know things aren't going the way you plan Right. You know, you have some bad days and you might get into a funk and, you know, so, I mean, I have my own things that I do to kind of get me out of it, but, you know, can you share any strategies that you have to kind of get you out of that? If you, if you do, I mean, you might not even go through those times. But. I guess just sharing your experience, like I have, um, in the work that I'm doing, there's a lot of people, there, there, there is no, there are a lot of people that, you know, are there for support. So if you're having... A difficult situation there's always somebody you can go and talk to about it you know so it's that that really helps I think meditating sometimes it helps to to kind of calm you down and kind of you know get you in the right path of mind just to open up and kind of do that but I guess mainly just you know sharing you what's going on and having them kind of walk you through and help you through their experiences as well. I think the sharing is very important. Sure. Sure. Can't go at it alone. That's good advice. Yes. Uh, so, you know, if you were, if you were sitting across from yourself and I, and I forgot to ask how long you've been doing this, but um, you know, if you had a chance to give yourself or maybe somebody else that um, was contemplating, um, you know, taking the step toward, uh, you know, a new opportunity um, in business, what kind of advice would you give them? I think, first of all, to talk to somebody who's been doing it and kind of get, um, 
you know, a better idea of how to start, how to go about it. Because sometimes you, you don't have that advice. You kind of go with the flow and then you start learning things along the way. It's like, oh, I wish I had done that. I wish I had known that. I wish I, it did definitely happen to me. And so sometimes talking to people is like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? Like, why didn't I do that? So what are some of those things? Like, do you have any examples off the top of your head, like things that? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, me and my husband have a joint account for everything. And so I started my business. I never thought, oh, maybe I should get a separate account to work with it. And then I was talking to, you know, another business person who I actually met through the um, the co-op. And so... And so she was like, oh, you need to have your, your bank account. And I'm like, oh, geez, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and then, you know, just having some other, you know, some more planning, be, you know, you know having your, your time to organize. Like, I work a lot with, ref with referrals, so just having time to organize your referral list, see who you're going to call and who you're going to contact, kind of be a little bit, bit more organized with your, with your time. And then, you know, that were some of the things that, I wish I had somebody who sit with me say, look, this is what you need to do prior to starting this. And that, <laughs> but you know, I would definitely see, you know, tell myself or whoever it was to just prepare before you set out so you can get the best outcome possible. That's good. So, you know, yeah. And that's excellent. I think everybody needs to be prepared, but there's also that analysis paralysis that, Sometimes you, you can't be fully complete. You need sometimes you just got to okay. take a break. Right? So, you know, I think there's a good combination. Yeah, you got to be do your research, get prepared, and then just go for it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, it sounds like that's what you did. Yes. You know, everybody's always hard on themselves. <laughs> you know, you have a tendency to be harder on yourself than anybody else, and I'm sure, you know, you, absolutely. Did, it. you did it. So, that's, yeah. no, that's good advice. Um, so, you know, we're all part of the cooperatizing network and yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're having a lot of fun there. Um, if you had an opportunity to kind of speak out to the group, um, what are some of the ways that they can help you more and maybe vice versa? Um, I guess some ways that I could get help from um, the group is just understanding, you know, and sharing experiences on how to keep your business going you know, and then also with people who do like similar things to you and how to, you know, continue with the referrals and building referrals and just like being able to spread the word uh, better about what you do. And, um, and I guess I could offer the same thing, you know, just being there for people and, you know, just helping them dress better and <laughs> Get some advice if anybody needs, you know, any styling advice. I'm more than happy to help and just, you know, just be there. I think uh, the um, friendship that you can get and like, sometimes I can't say the word in, in English, but just being there for other people, like they're going to be there for me. It's just a, nice to have that support. Sure. Now that's great. Um, so if someone were trying to get a hold of you, Yes. For either support or maybe because they need some help the way right. they dress and preparing for that. You know, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, text or phone call, email. I'm always on, you know, I'm always ready to answer and help anybody who might need. That's the best way. And so you want to give that number out? Absolutely. So my um, cell phone number is 630-561-4361. And my uh, email is s underscore Ryerson at yahoo.com. Excellent. Do you have a Facebook page or a website? Or I do. Uh, so it's uh, oh, Facebook. <laughs> I don't know exactly which it is. Okay. I can tell you that you can find Sylvia online at you can. the Cooper Chicagoland Cooperatizing Network. I guarantee she's in there. She's active. And you'll find yes, Sylvia Ryerson. I don't <laughs> think there are many out there. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> so um is there anything that uh, is there anything else going on that we need to know about as far as your business or or um 
Anything else? Well, um, business is going well. We just came out with some great new um, summer and spring blazers for guys with some amazing fabrics um, that are waterproof. So, you know, with the crazy weather in Chicago, you never know if it's going to, you know, especially in the summer, if it's going to rain or not. It's nice to have something that you know is going to keep you um, looking good despite the weather change. So that's something that, you know, you guys can check out. Our website is www.truemaker.com and it's T-R-U-M-A-K-E-R.com. And yeah, if you need any advice or would love to, you know, try out our shirts, just, you know, give me a call and then we'll make an appointment and I'll be happy to help. Excellent. Even at Starbucks. Even at Starbucks. I'll even <laughs> buy you a coffee. Oh, geez. Then everybody should be in on that, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I appreciate the time, Sylvia. It's been fun. Thank you so much. Yep. And, um, you know, we hope to see everyone else online, too. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, have a wonderful day. All right. Thanks.